It is time now for your Sunday money and often when families gather together for holiday dinner, someone brings up a taboo topic, whether maybe it's religion, politics or money. But is there a way to have a civil family conversation about money? We're going to ask our money man, certified financial planner, Paul Fain. Why is money considered one of those taboo topics during the holidays? Leslie, a, a TD Ameritrade survey found that um, sex and money were the top <laughs> two taboo topics for the holiday followed by politics religion and so forth and so on but you know uh, there's always somebody in the family that likes to stir the pot and push oh, yeah. people's buttons and usually you know uh, emotions like guilt and shame and embarrassment or even resentment or regret result and that's where it, it goes downhill from there and it can be uncomfortable but honestly for some young people especially having some of those conversations can end up being really helpful for what they do in the future yeah particularly around money i mean think about family gatherings think about that uncle that aunt that cousin that grandparent that you admire and you may have some financial questions that they would love to share with you you know over a meal or a cup of eggnog talking about you know different topics that that might uh, uh, be very helpful like everyone likes talking about planning for retirement mm -hmm. or what they're going to do with retirement or how to pay off student debt um, you know what's the best place to start saving money how mm -hmm. do I participate in a 401k how do I build an emergency fund so you know there's a lot of positive conversations that can come out of family gatherings yeah definitely what are some tips to offering those holiday financial advices if you're on the offering side of it yeah I think you know it's important to talk in general terms you know steer clear of judgmental topics you could have a helpful conversation about a budget and a cash reserve or you could shame somebody for having a bad true, budget true. no <laughs> cash reserves um, talk about you know long-term planning saving regularly automating bills you know investing regularly through your 401k through payroll deduction um, you know explain how a mutual fund works mm -hmm. but mainly general long-term non-judgmental what if you're on the receiving end what about any advice for you well um, let's talk a minute about who you're listening to yes you know, the loudest, which relative you've chosen the, to, the loudest, to ask the questions from. right right the loudest person in the rooms probably not the one you need to take the advice from I think of my friends in Texas that call up some of their uh, neighbors big hat no cattle so maybe that's not the person you take financial advice from definitely well Paul thank you let's do our fast market fact really fast <laughs> yeah so um, there's going to be a lot of money changing hands over the next uh, 25 years. Baby boomers are going to transfer about 60, over $60 billion to a trillion dollars with a T over the next 25 years. So it's called the great wealth transfer. Most of it, Leslie, is going to be in retirement accounts, which can you know, help the next generation boost their own planning hmm. for retirement. Fascinating. Well, Paul, thank you for being here. We appreciate you it bet. as Good always. To see you.